Item number SCP-2343 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2343 is to be housed in a modified humanoid containment cell at Site-88. SCP-2343's containment cell is to utilize seven active Scranton Reality anchors with overlapping areas of effect, along with four non-physical displacement neutralizers. These devices are to utilize triply redundant power backups. 14 inactive Scranton Reality anchors and 8 non-physical displacement neutralizers are to be kept in good repair at Site-88 at all times for use exclusively with SCP-2343. If any of the active Reality anchors or displacement neutralizers should fail, inactive backups kept on site shall be utilized until the primary devices are either repaired or replaced. A copy of these containment procedures shall be kept on file at Site 88, Site 19, and Site 17 and are to be stored within their own Scranton Reality anchor fields. Once per day, those documents are to be compared with this document for any discrepancies. A discrepancy between any of these documents should be reported to SCP-2343's Project Director and site 88 Director. Description SCP-2343 is a humanoid entity roughly 2.1 meters tall and weighing 72 kilograms. SCP-2343 is capable of voluntary reality restructuring and is considered a Class 4 reality altering entity. Though SCP-2343 is not actively hostile, it has made several escape attempts in the past decade. SCP-2343 appears as an individual in his late 50s or early 60s. Despite this apparent age, SCP-2343 has displayed a physical fitness roughly analogous to an individual in his early 20s. SCP-2343 has not shown any signs of aging since confinement in 2005. In 2005, police are called to a domestic disturbance in Germantown, Tennessee. Note, a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. Once on site, the police gave conflicting reports relating to the subject of the complaint. An individual identifying as Peter Panopy made several claims as to his abilities while at the same time suffering from the signs of physical assault. While the responding officers eventually took the subject into custody due to public intoxication, embedded foundation assets relayed the claims of the subject. A routine interview with the subject was scheduled by foundation assets on August 4th, 2005. Pre-recovery interview. Date and time. August 4th, 2005, at 13.04. Interviewer, Agent Goodman. Subject, POI-5602, later classified as SCP-2343. Location, Holding Room B of the Germantown Police Department. Transcript, Hello, you're Peter, right? Yeah, look, I'm sorry about the mix-up. Which picks up? My wife. I changed my mind. I don't want to file charges. That was the bourbon talking. I'll make sure the officers are aware of that. I'm actually your assigned psychologist. I'm here to discuss some of the other claims you made how intoxicated. Right. You smoke? POI 5602 offers Agent Goodman a cigarette. No, I'm trying to quit. I ought to. POI-5602 uses a lighter to light his cigarette and smokes it throughout the remainder of the interview. Anyway, I got a little mouthy when I'm drunk. I think they said I threatened to take the life of the world or some bullcrap. Yes, you also make some claims about your wife as well. She doesn't hit me. Subject points to bruises on face. I got drunk and got into a fight with a friend. <sighs> Alright, 
That's enough for now. My wife's probably worried sick. You know when they'll let me out? I don't think it'll be very long. Thanks. Subject was searched prior to and following the interview. Neither cigarettes nor lighter were found in either of these searches, and reality anchor was requisitioned and deployed from a nearby foundation garrison to prevent further minor actualization incidents. However, once it became apparent to SCP-2343 that it was not being released, further moderate actualization incidents occurred. Escape by the entity was achieved on August 7th. The Foundation, however, in preparing for the possibility of escape, had created several reality anchored zones in and around Memphis, Tennessee, including the subject's place of work and home. Several failed capture attempts indicated a minimum of three overlapping reality anchors were required to suppress SCP-2343's natural abilities. Capture, transportation, and storage of SCP-2343 at Site-88 was completed on September 9th, 2005. Capture of SCP-2343's immediate family, including the subject's wife. Note, identified at the county register's office as Sasha Panaby was not achieved during this time. Acquiring SCP-2343's cooperation in the capture of its wife, designated POI-5701, was a top priority. Addendum May Error File Overridden Item Number SCP-2343 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2343 is to be housed in a modified humanoid containment cell at Site-88. SCP-2343's containment cell is to utilize an active Scranton reality anchor with a redundant power backup. A copy of these containment procedures shall be kept on file at Site-88 and Site-19. Once a day, those documents are to be compared with this document for any discrepancies. A discrepancy between any copy of these containment procedures should be reported to SCP-2343's project director. Description SCP-2343 is a humanoid entity roughly 2.2 meters tall and weighing 62 kilograms. SCP-2343 is considered a Class I reality altering entity. SCP-2343 is not actively hostile. SCP-2343 appears as an individual in his late 40s or early 50s, despite this apparent age. SCP-2343 has displayed a physical fitness roughly analogous to an individual in his early 20s. SCP-2343 has not shown any signs of aging since confinement in 2005. In 2005, Police were called to a domestic disturbance in Germantown, Tennessee. Note, a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. Once on site, the police gave conflicting reports related to the subject of the complaint. An individual identifying as Peter Panaby made several claims as his abilities while at the same time suffering from the signs of physical assault. While the responding officers eventually took the subject into custody due to public intoxication, embedded foundation assets relayed the claims of the subject. A routine interview with the subject was scheduled by foundation assets on August 4th, 2005. That's how I got to Memphis. Pre-recovery interview. Date and time. August 4th, 2005. At 1325. Interviewer, Agent Goodman, Subject, POI-5602, later classified as SCP-2343, Location, Holding Room C of the Germantown Police Department. Hello, I'm your court-appointed psychologist. Right, you smoke? POI-5602 politely offers Agent Goodman a cigarette. I'm trying to quit. POI-5602 uses a lighter to light a cigarette and smokes it throughout the remainder of the interview. Look, I got a little mouthy while I'm drunk. 
I think they said I threatened to and make the world or something. Yes, you made some claims about your wife as well. She's a Hellcat. Half the time, she don't know what she's doing. Huh. What led to the incident that made you call 911? Honestly, I don't even remember. I was drunk. I was playing my guitar and she didn't like it. Have you ever heard of Tom T. Hall? I haven't. POR 3602 produces a guitar from under the table and begins to tune it. Where did that come from? Uh, the gods here know I play a little, so they get me a guitar whenever I'm locked up. You got time to listen to a song? I don't, actually. I have a couple of other prisoners to talk to today, but I'll be back by before the end of the day. All right, then. Don't be a stranger. Subject was such prior to and following the interview. The guitar produced during the interview was not found in either search. Following this interview, a reality anchor was requisitioned from a nearby foundation garrison to prevent further minor actualization incidents. Before deployment, SCP-2343 escaped custody. The foundation, in preparation for the possibility of escape, had made several reality anchored zones in and around Memphis, Tennessee, including the subject's place of work and home. A single reality anchor was found to be capable of suppressing SCP-2343's natural abilities. Capture, transportation, and storage of SCP-2343 at Site-88 was completed on September 9, 2005. Capture of SCP-2343's immediate family, including the object's wife, identified at the county's register's office as Sasha Panaby, was not achieved during this time. Acquiring SCP-2343's cooperation in the capture of his wife, designated POI-5701 as a top priority. Listen up, you sideways assholes! Ever. Number 0013. File overridden. Please notify your on-duty tech supervisor for more information. Item number. SCP-2343. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-2343 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-88. Amenity requests are subject to approval from the 2343 project director. Due to the object's voluntary containment, the continued cooperation of SCP-2343 is a top priority. Note, use of SCP-2343 is a possible translator for SCP-2280 is currently pending review. Description, SCP-2343 is a humanoid entity roughly 2.2 meters tall and weighing 62 kilograms. SCP-2343 is not actively hostile. SCP-2343 displays a physical fitness roughly analogous to an individual in his early 20s. SCP-2343 has not shown any signs of aging since confinement in 2005. Police are called to a domestic disturbance in Germantown, Tennessee. Note, a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee, in 2005, once on site, the police gave conflicting reports relating to the subject of the complaint. An individual identifying as Peter Panaby was taken into custody. Subject was transferred to Foundation custody on September 5th. Listen up, you sideways assholes. I know you'll notice this before the end of the day, so pass it up the chain. You folks spent your entire lives worried about what you've got locked up. But it ain't what's on the inside that's going to get you. It's what's still outside. You know how my wife used to knock me around? I've been taking it for a few thousand years, so the rest of you ungrateful assholes could build something. If she finds out I'm down here, if she finds out what you've done, she won't stop until the whole damn world is drowning in blood. She's done it before, and she'll do it again. But you ain't gonna let me out. That's fine. Once my own pride got me in this mess anyway. I'll help you find her, and you can lock her up like you locked me up. Elsewise, you'll die, and I'm left to make the world all over again from the ashes. 
I'm old. I'm tired. I don't know if I got another run left in me. This is what I'm offering. Take it or leave it.